hit the road to take on the Giants. And before, before the mic. Panthers must get to the 26-yard line for a first down. Empty backfield. Darnold on fourth down, looking for Moore. He's got it. DJ Moore makes the catch in bounds. Going up against Patrick Peterson's replacement, Cameron Dantzler, a 26-yard connection. And that's when you go for the fade route, your best receiver on the backup cornerback, DJ Moore, wide open, and a beautiful ball drops it right in the bucket for him and gets out of bounds, still have the timeout. They can run whatever they want down here. 46 seconds, one timeout. They could even run a quarterback keeper. First and goal from the seven. Dardle throws, end zone, touchdown, Robbie Anderson. The Panthers pull to it in two. Redemption, Kenny. Redemption. Robbie Anderson, at the time they needed him most, finally comes up with the catch. Going for two. I'm going to DJ Moore, wherever he is. I'm going his way. Down at the bottom against Cameron Dantzler. This is for oh. the tie. Shovel pass. They've got it. Darnold to triple. Carolina has tied the game at 28. Great play called Joe Brady. No one expecting Tommy Tremble to be the first option. They run a quick little shovel pass to him. Oh, man, we got a ball game, Kenny. That was exciting. And you look at Robbie Anderson on the inside. Talk about redemption for as many drops as he had today. Finds his way up right past Eric Hendricks for the touchdown. Sam Arnold throws it only where he could get it. And then that two-point conversion... That was just a beautiful play call. Sam Darnold and the Carolina Panthers drive 96 yards. They converted twice on fourth down. Backed up fourth and ten, they converted. That was the key play. Vikings led by 11 with under five minutes remaining. The Panthers have come back. They have Tie the game at 28. Now look, this is far from over for the Vikings offense. Two timeouts in 42 seconds. They get good enough field position. They can get down in the field goal range. What a second half here in Charlotte. The last Carolina drive started at their four-yard line. The big play on fourth down to Ian Thomas. Another fourth down connection to D.J. Moore. And then Anderson hangs on to this one. Followed by the two-point conversion. Wow, that was sensational. Great drive. Poise. The call. He's been under the rest all day. Sam Darnold, what a way to step up for the team. So now the Vikings with two timeouts remaining. 42 seconds. Pass is caught by Osborne. He takes it out of bounds to stop the clock. Yeah, truth be told, they can get these little chunks because they have the two timeouts. You're talking about six seconds, seven seconds of play. You keep getting these little chunks. And then you can take one shot over the middle, use a timeout, save another timeout for a field goal. So right now, the Panthers' defense, they have to play like it's normal. They, they can't sit here and play for sidelines or anything like that it has to be normal defense for them the Vikings need to go approximately 34 yards Cousins gets away from Brian Burns Cousins will pick up a first down scrambles all the way out 
to the 45-yard line. He gained 16. I don't know how Kirk Cousins got out of this. Brian Burns looked like he was shot out of a cannon. I almost wanted to say he was offside. He was so fast off the football. Somehow misses a sack, and then Kirk Cousins turns it into a positive. And again, that only took seven seconds off the clock, even with all of that. And that's what I mean by these 10-yard chunks. Vikings still with two timeouts. From the 45-yard line, Cousins over the middle, complete to Osborne. And K.J. Osborne picks up another Vikings first down to the 43, and now a timeout taken by the Vikings. And you see Cousins' eyes. He was deep. Wanted to go deep, not there. Nice outlet to K.J. Osborne. 22 seconds remaining. There's Greg Joseph. Hit a 54-yard game winner with time winding down against the Lions last week. He's 3 for 4 today. His career long is 55. They've reset the clock to 24 seconds. We are tied at 28 Yeah, here I'm, in Charlotte. I'm the Panthers' defense. It's feast or famine right now. I would go on pressure and go five-man pressure, six-man pressure if I can because I don't want to give Kirk Cousins all this time to start looking, start scanning, and hitting the check down on me. From the Carolina 43, empty backfield. Cousins, quick release. Catch is made by... D.D. Westbrook down to the 37-yard line. So from this spot, as the Vikings call their final timeout, if they don't gain any more yardage, this would be a 55-yard attempt, and that is Joseph's career long. He's made some big kicks this season. Week one against the Bengals, 53-yarder to force overtime. Well, the next week against the Cardinals missed a 37-yard attempt. Vikings lost by game. one. Yeah. And then the 54-yard game winner as time expired to beat the Lions last Sunday. With 19 seconds, they still can throw the ball over the middle. They get a completion and clock it with enough time to set up for the field goal. So it's Vikings not all about the sidelines. Out of timeouts. From the Carolina 37. Cousins pass. There it is. Down to the 28-yard line. Is caught by Thielen as the Vikings hustle up to the line. As you said, Jonathan Cousins will now clock it. Yep. And give Joseph an opportunity for a second straight game-winning field goal. Yeah, they were in the Panthers' defense. They were in a, a very tough situation because you want to play for the sideline, obviously. But, again, there was just normal offense for the Vikings. This was really masterful. The way that they were able to move down, still leave six seconds with a chance to win this game. This will be a 47-yard attempt. Matt Rule calls timeout. Carolina, it's a 30-second timeout. Doom, 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 doom. The drama, the drama, Kenny. Incredible game. <laughs> a block punt returned for a touchdown, gave Carolina a five-point lead in the third quarter. Vikings scored 16 straight, and now the Panthers have scored the last 11 points. Wow. This has been everything you would ask for in a game. State Farm post game coming up next. Greg Joseph, who spent last season on the practice squad of the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Bucks, lining up for a 47 yard attempt. This is for the win. From the right hash, Joseph from 47. It is wide to the right. No good. I honestly believe we have something to do with it, Kenny. Last week there was five. Today there's two now. 
Yeah, we were in Cincinnati last week. Five straight missed field goals. Joseph with an opportunity to win it for the Vikings. Oof. Wide right. Just wide right. All right, let's get ready for overtime. Over the first five weeks, eight overtime games. Tied for an NFL record. Over the first five weeks of the season, this will be our third in a row. With the Vikings and Panthers tied at 28. That's why I think we have something to do with it. We just want more football, nonstop. Just keep it going. Coin toss coming up. Both teams with an opportunity to possess unless the initial possession results in a touchdown or a safety. Ten minute quarter, two timeouts per team. All replays initiated from upstairs. You know, you can look at it one or two ways for as poorly as the offense played for the Panthers. When they needed their guys to step up the most, they did. So you got to give them a lot of credit for being resilient, the courage they had, the toughness. We will now begin one maximum of a 10-minute modified sudden death overtime period. Each team will have the opportunity to possess the ball unless the team first in possession scores a touchdown. There's a safety or the team first in possession has the ball the entire 10 minutes of the overtime period. Fourth quarter, timing rules apply. Each team has two timeouts and all replays will be initiated from the replay booth. Helmet is heads, NFL insignia is tails. Minnesota is your call. Tails. Called tails. It is tails. So you'd like to receive. Kick in the same direction. Same direction. Minnesota. Vikings win the toss. Tied at 28 in Charlotte. Overtime next. History, at least one game has gone to overtime each of the first six weeks. No lead is safe in the NFL. We're talking, it doesn't matter if you got five minutes left, two minutes left. These games all come down to the wire. Vikings led by 11 with under five minutes remaining in regulation. Kickoff into the end zone. Kirk Cousins and the Vikings will start from their 25. Vikings lost in overtime to the Bengals week one. First overtime game for Carolina this season. If I'm the Vikings, I'm going back to what got us there, and that was getting Kirk Cousins outside of the pocket if you're going to throw the ball downfield, if you need time to throw the football. Then big doses of Dalvin Cook up the gut. None of those little perimeter side plays. Panthers defense is too fast. All right, here we go. Vikings start from the 25-yard line in overtime. Catch made at the 31 by Thielen. That's his 11th reception today. Gain of six. Yeah, Thielen, he's had a tremendous game. Now, Justin Jefferson's been a little quiet. Thielen has stepped in, and he's been the number one guy for Kirk Cousins all game. You see Frankie Louvu. One of the big reasons why the Panthers were able to make the comeback gave them a nice spark they needed in that third quarter with the block punt. Second down and four, it's Cook. Dalvin Cook out across the 35, picks up a Vikings first down. There it is, up the gut with Dalvin Cook. As fast as he is, he still likes running between the tackles. It's not like he's a, a just a bounce guy and try to outrun you. He will get you those tough yards. That's what makes him so special. Cook returning today. Missed two of the last three games. Has 120 yards on the ground. 49. New set of downs for the Vikings in overtime. Tied at 28. From the 36-yard line. Cousins with time. And then he fires out of bounds. That was smart. It was a two-man route. They were trying to get Justin Jefferson on the over route and suck those linebackers up. Linebackers did a good job getting depth, recognizing play action. Kirk Cousins does a good job throwing the football away. Cousins over 300 yards 
for the third time this season. He's been very smart with the football, very careful. He's been taking what the defense has been giving him. 50, 50. And of course, it helps when you have your Dalvin Cook giving you 100 plus yards rushing. Second down and 10. Justin Jefferson makes the catch and he's tackled at the 43 yard line. Gain of seven. Third down and three coming up for the Vikings. And this is where Thielen has been very instrumental in these inner these slants, these quick routes. Not the intermediates right now in third and short. He can get that quick first down for you. First possession of overtime. Vikings smartly put both receivers down at the bottom. Third down and three. Cousins looking that way. Now he throws, and Ooh, it is it. K.J. Osborne who makes the catch for a Vikings first down in Panthers territory, 13-yard connection. And that's Clint Kubiak with a great play call because this is essentially your outlet. He's running away from Keith Taylor. That's a tough cover for a corner across the football field. So if your first option and Thielen isn't there, Justin Jefferson isn't there, you're always going to have this guy coming into your vision as essentially a deep check down. Osborne has made some big plays today. That's his fifth reception. Over 500 yards of offense for the Vikings. From the Carolina 44 on the toss, it's Dalvin Cook. Cook taken down by Jermaine Carter after a gain of four. Yeah, I remember early on in the game, Vikings used that toss play as a setup to get a nice chunk play to Thielen and or Jefferson. So I'm wondering if that's what they're trying to do right now or, look, just keep pounding it and pounding it. Pretty close to field goal range. Four. See Matt Rule Four. hoping he gets a shot with his offense. A touchdown would win the game for Minnesota. A field goal and Carolina would have an opportunity. Here's Cook inside the 30. Taken down at the 24-yard line. So Dalvin Cook... Running hard, picks up 16 out of Vikings, first down. And that's that one cut, and he is out the gate. That's why they missed him. Alexander Madison, he'll get you, you know, maybe half of those yards. He's not as explosive, but Dalvin Cook, it's like shooting a guy out of the cannon when he gets the football and he sees the hole. 49. Cook to the sideline, 140 Go! yards on the ground, replaced by Alexander Madison. Ready? Cousins, Jefferson, Ooh. what a hit. Dante Jackson coming up to make the play. Dante Jackson, big hit, big stick. Look at that, just sets him up. He was about eight or nine yards off. Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson assumed that it was going to be ready, but oh, let's hear that one. Former teammates at LSU. Not teammates anymore. <laughs> there is no love lost. Loss of three on the play. Madison remains in for Cook. Second down and 13. As Cousins throws. Osborne, touchdown! Vikings win! All scoring plays are reviewed. Craig Rolstad will take a look. Kirk Cousins connecting with K.J. Osborne. Ruled a touchdown on the field. It looks like it crossed the plane. You hit that. It is part of the end zone. They're going to review it. But if K.J. Osborne hits the pylon as he does, he breaks the plane. That is a touchdown. Wow. I can't imagine the officials are going to look at this replay for too long. That looks like a touchdown. Mike Pereira, what did you see? 
Well, they got to look to see if he completed the process of the catch. A, he got control. B, he got two feet down. Then he took an additional step, then reached across the ball, got it over the top of the pylon. I think it's a touchdown. All right, thanks, Mike. Jonathan, I know you agree. I most definitely agree. I wouldn't say I think. I know it's a touchdown. If they come back with something different, well, just fire me. <laughs> <laughs> All of the players milling around on the field, and now the Panthers have started to walk across. The ruling of a touchdown has been confirmed. That is the end of the ball game. K.J. Osborne, the hero.